Hi guys, Juliana here and once again welcome to my channel. So today in this video I'm going to show you how I turn this portrait into this using one simple technique. And if you want to see how I did it, then just keep on watching. So here is the image that I'm going to be working today. And actually I took it in my garage. And if you want to see how I did it, I'll link the video in the description down below. It was very simple, very easy. And see what a beautiful image I've got. And okay, now the only thing that we will going to be needing is this. And this is a canvas texture and I'm going to leave the link where you can download it in the description box. So press V or you can select it here. This is a selection tool, not the selection tool. I'm sorry, what it's how it's called? Move tool. Yes, this is the move tool. And we will just going to grab and drag it onto the image. Hit OK. Very simple. Command T to transform. Just make sure that it covers all the image. Just like so, make sure that it covers all the image and click OK. Beautiful. We are halfway there. Now turn off the visibility and go back to your main layer. And now go to the quick selection tool and you will see select subject and click there. Okay, so now it did. It usually does a pretty good job. Uh, Photoshop did very well with it. And now I'll refine it a little bit. So I'll just drag it, drag the selection a little bit forward. Okay, that's good enough. And now I'll press Shift Command I. And it reversed the selection. So now not the subject, but the background is selected. And now I'm going to the layer of the texture layer. And we still have a selection. I'll just press the mask icon. And just like so, we have a selection. Okay, I would like to soften mask a little bit. So I'm going to double click on the mask and I'll feather it maybe like four pixels. It will be depend on your image. I think that's four or five pixels is fine. Okay. And now, of course, we cannot leave it like this. I will go and lower the opacity on that. So you can leave it either like this, but what I prefer to do is it really depends on the image, try both ways, but I would go with the blending mode and usually it will be either overlaid or a soft light. For this one, I'll choose soft light. And maybe I'll bring opacity a little bit more just to bring down the texture. Yes, looks beautiful. Look already, here's the before and here's the after. It looks so much more painterly and interesting in my opinion. I love it really, really much. But what I would like to do now is I would like to darken the background a little bit. So I would go to the curves, adjustment layers and hit this icon with the arrow. It will create a clipping mask. And what does it mean? It will affect only the background layer, but it will not affect the subject. And I will just drag the mid-tones down, just like that. So let's see, this is the before and this is the after. I really do like it like that more. Let's see, maybe we want to bring darker, dark even more. So you can play around with your background as well and adjust it for your image. So here's the before and here's the after. I feel there is kind of more vignetting and more drama going on. More contrast definitely. And more texture coming out, which I like as well. Okay, so of course you can leave it like this. I think it's already, let's see the before and after. I feel that now it's already an improvement. But what I would like to do is I would go color lookup and I'll apply some filter. 
So for this particular, I don't want any filters that would crush my blacks that are contrast ones. And you can just, just go through all of them one by one. But what I like, I would just go, uh, I would just choose the first filter and I will just lower opacity to 20%. It doesn't matter which filter you choose. And then you can just go through all of them because 20% opacity for me is starting point. But of course you can do whatever. So I like candlelight a lot. I thought it will look very, very nice. So for this one, I feel that the filters that doesn't have a, a strong uh, blacks or shadows will suit best just because it's already such a high contrast image. Just like a crisp warp, for example, it's very contrasty and it's crushing all the blacks, as you see. And I, I mean, I don't think it looks bad, but I think the softer ones look better. Uh, what usually I know that um, a lot of photographers like Chris Warm. I use it sometimes, but I cannot say that this is my favorite one. I personally. Uh, lean toward the cooler tones, so uh, I find that crisp winter is something that I use quite often. Uh, I like this one a lot. It doesn't really affect the blacks, but they just give much cooler tone and I do love it. It's just my personal preference, so crisp winter is something that I might be using. Okay, so I've decided to go with one of my favorite ones, is crisp winter, but now I feel it's still too blue so easily I'll just lower the opacity okay so it looks very very good already and you can leave it right there I think it already looks really nice you see how simple and easy it was to create this beautiful image so just apply texture and you will find the link to download in the description box and then you can modify it with curves you can darken it or uh, lighten it uh, remember to put it on the soft light or multiply blending mode or you can leave it at normal as well depend on the effect that you want to achieve and it's optional you can always put a color lookup or any other filter or adjustment layer just to bring up uh, your image you know color graded or whatever you feel like you want to do it with it but I think this is such a neat and simple trick and I really love it and use it quite often So this was it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to see more of my work, please follow me on Instagram, it's at yurenachi underscore photo. Please thumbs up for this video if you liked it, share to share the knowledge with everyone else and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment what you thought of the video, did you like the technique, did you like the effect and would you like to try it? And I really, really hope to see you next time. Bye!